This is a lesson from Getting Started with WordPress, an online course by the Clickstarter. In this lesson, we're going to get to know the WordPress administration area. Try to follow along on your own WordPress site. If you don't have a WordPress site yet, visit this link to find out how we will create one for you absolutely free. The first thing we'll learn about is how to log in to your WordPress website. When you first create your WordPress website, you'll see a link to log in to your site admin like this. You can also get to the administration area by going to yourwebsite.com slash wp-admin. Typing the address into your web browser will bring you to the login screen. You would have set up the admin username and password when you first install WordPress. Here's a tip. Bookmark the link to your WordPress admin. You'll be visiting the admin screens often. Welcome to the WordPress administration area. The first screen you'll see after logging in is the dashboard. I know it's a little intimidating at first, but we'll get the hang of it soon. The admin screens have been redesigned in WordPress 3.2. Let's have a quick tour. The header is located at the top of the admin screens. In the header, we find the website name and clicking it will bring us to the website's homepage. On the top right, we have a link to our profile page where we can change our password and a link to log out. Just under the header are two pull down tabs, screen options and help. Let's tackle the help tab first. Clicking the tab reveals instructions and hints about the screen that you are on. If you ever get stuck on something in WordPress, try looking in this contextual help for pointers. Clicking the screen options tab displays controls to show or hide modules and change the layout on some screens. So if you uncheck the modules here, they disappear off the screen. You can also choose to show more or less columns on the screen. If you feel overwhelmed by what greets you when you log into WordPress, remove some of these modules. In the work area, you can rearrange the layout of the page. You can close modules by hovering over them and clicking the arrow. You can also drag modules to different locations on screen. Remember that this works for other screens as well. Rearranging the on-screen modules in conjunction with showing or hiding them from the screen options lets you customize WordPress to your liking. On the left is the main navigation for the admin screens. If you hover your mouse over the menu items, you'll see an arrow which you can click to reveal sub-menu items for that section. And if you click on this link at the bottom, you can collapse the menu to give you a bigger working space. Move the mouse over any of the icons and a pop-up will appear to show you any of the subpages in a section. When you click on one, your web browser will bring you to that page. Finally, let's have a look at your profile page where you can customize your WordPress experience further and to change your password. The first bunch of options on the profile page are your personal options. Here you can choose to disable the visual editor. We'll have a look at the visual editor in the next lesson. For the time being, just leave this option unchecked. You can also choose to change the admin color scheme, enable keyboard shortcuts for comments, and where to show the admin bar. Let's try changing the color scheme and update the options. Cool, the admin screens now have a blue color scheme. Next, I'm going to enable the admin bar in the admin screens. I'm also going to revert back to the original color scheme. Now we can see the admin bar at the top of the page. This admin bar will appear on every page in the WordPress administration area and gives us a shortcut to a number of screens within the admin. If you've enabled it in the options, the admin bar will also appear on the website and provide shortcuts to common pages in the WordPress admin. Not everyone is a fan of the admin bar though, so you can choose to turn them off in the personal options if you wish. The next bunch of options control our display name on the site. I can set my name and nicknames in these fields, and then choose what I want to be displayed on the site. And now my name will be displayed as my nickname throughout the website. The profile page is also where we can change our email address and set other contact info. These are optional and don't really affect the site in any way. We can also provide a short blurb about ourselves. This blurb will be displayed below our articles 
or on the author pages of some themes. Finally, we can change our password at the bottom of the profile page. Great, now that you've gone through your WordPress orientation, you're ready to start publishing some content. I hope you found this lesson useful. Don't forget that we provide additional content and a support forum to registered members of click2launch.net. Sign up for a free membership by visiting this link. Mm -hmm.